Hey everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Michaela's Corner. Today we are continuing our journey to the cross. We are on week number two. That means we have four more weeks left until we get to Easter Sunday. Today we are going to be talking about the triumphal entry. This is when Jesus is coming into the town. The prophets had told about this. People had been waiting for a savior and they thought it was Jesus. So today we are talking about what is technically Palm Sunday, which is in a couple weeks. It's the week before Easter. But because we're telling our story in order, we are talking about the triumphal entry kind of more towards the beginning of our story. So in a couple of weeks, when we get to the week before Easter, it'll technically be Palm Sunday and you'll already know all about it. So without further ado, should we get into it? Let's do it. The story of Easter, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and we'll return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! And they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said he would many years before. What a great video. Today we are talking about the triumphal entry of Jesus, meaning the wonderful, amazing, everyone yelling, Hosanna, that triumphal entry. A lot of times we call it Palm Sunday, which is the Sunday before Easter. Now, we are technically doing it out of order because Palm Sunday isn't for a couple weeks, but we are going with the order of the story. And so today it happens to be the triumphal entry because it's what happened next in our story. These people had been waiting for a savior for a long time, the Messiah, someone who would come to save them. So today in our Lent devotional, The Way to the Savior by Jeff and Abby Land, we are gonna be reading from day number three, my favorite number. But we have here this cool picture of this guy writing about prophecy, probably prophecy just like the people had heard that a man was coming to ride on a donkey that would come to save them all. So let's read it. Waiting for God, waiting can be hard. 
and you have to wait a lot in life. You have to wait for recess, wait for food, wait for a birthday, wait for vacation, all the things. When the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the church in Galatia, his advice was to wait. Why would Paul tell people to wait? Paul shared that waiting and having faith would give people the hope they needed. People waited a long time for the promised Savior to come to earth, just like we've learned about today. Jesus came to offer hope to all those who waited for his arrival. This same promise is made to you as well. Wait and have faith, and God will provide the hope you need to live a life that is pleasing to God. Waiting may be hard, but the rewards Paul promised are far better than any waiting you have to do. The next time you are waiting in a long line at an amusement park, like Disney World, or a carnival, think about how Paul told people they had to wait. And as fun as the ride may be, it is nothing compared to waiting for God in His glory. And our prayer for today says, Dear God, help me remember that waiting is okay. Thank you for providing people in my life who help me while I eagerly wait for the things you promised in the Bible. Amen. And our verse is from Galatians chapter 5, verse 5. For we eagerly await through the Spirit, by faith, the hope of righteousness. Now, instead of a question for today, I have an exercise for you to do with your family at home. It says, as a family, rate each member on a scale of 1 to 10 on how good he or she is at waiting. Talk about how you can be a better waiter, but don't wait to invite others to join you in celebrating Jesus' resurrection on Easter. Amazing! Well, let's head over to our craft where we have something to do with those palm leaves. Welcome to craft time. Today we are going to be making our very own palm leaves so we can wave them around saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, just like the people did when they welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem. But we are not just creating our own palm branches. We are going to be painting them using our hands. That's right. You know me and you know I like to get messy. So what you're going to need for today are some paints. Now here I have two green colored paints. I have a sh um, like a bright lime green and then I got this like shiny color and I'm gonna use both of them. I have a paintbrush so I can paint the paint onto my hand. And then I have some markers to write Hosanna on our paper and some white paper. So let's get started. First what I'm gonna get started with is I'm going to grab a green marker. Now you can use marker, crayon, colored pencil, whatever you want for this part. But we're basically going to draw the stem of our branch on our paper. And the stem is basically just one line. Now, you can make it a curved line, you can make it a wavy line, you can make it a straight line, however you want. I'm gonna do mine curved like this. And I'm gonna start in one side and just loop it up like that. And there's my branch. Now we have to create the leaves on it and that's where our hands are gonna come in handy. Now I'm gonna put this marker away, but we're gonna keep it out because I'm gonna write Hosanna at the bottom. Now I love this craft because it's all green. So amazing. Okay, here we go. Also, quick disclaimer, if you don't have green at home, you can just draw on your paper. You can use a different color and make it whatever kind of color palm branch you want. It's your project, it's up to you. All right, so next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and my paint. Now this is where things are gonna get messy. So I'm gonna start with my shimmery green and I'm gonna set it to the side here and I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in and then I'm going to paint my hand just like we've done in our other projects. And as per usual, the paint feels very cold on my hands and it's very shiny. You can see when I move my hand around how it makes that like shiny, almost metallic, like metal color. All right, so I've got my hand here. Now this is gonna be upside down for you, but I don't know how to like make this not upside down. So I'm going to stick my hand to one side, put my hand like that, move it to across and put my hand like that. And now we're starting to create our branches here. I'm gonna paint some more on my hand. And I'm gonna keep going up and down my palm branch that I already paint, drew on with my marker. See how it's going like with my marker? Now let's add some of this lime green and I'm just gonna paint right on top. And it's okay that my colors mix together. It's all green. If you're using different colors at home, I would suggest maybe washing your hand and your paintbrush in between so you don't mix them up. Or you could just pour it on a plate and mix it together that way. 
All right, now I've got a different color. I'm gonna do just my fingers at the top because my hand is kind of big for my piece of paper. There we go. And I just keep stamping and moving it along. Guys, look at that. I've got like my whole branch going on here. Maybe I'll do just some of my fingers now. Oh, I'm gonna twist this because it's hard to put my fingers around all over it without moving it. What do you guys think of my palm branch? It's a little crazy. Your hands might fit better on paper. I bet if I had like a really big piece of paper, it'd really stick out. Do you get the idea? You can see that this is my palm branch that I would wave yelling Hosanna. Now, before we move on to the next step, I need to wash my hands, so be right back. All clean. All right, next what we're gonna do is we are going to grab our markers again. I'm gonna keep going with green, but you can use whatever one you want. And we are gonna write the word Hosanna on our paper, which is what the people were yelling when they saw Jesus, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now, Hosanna is spelled H-O-S-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Now, I think I'm gonna write it going down the side of my paper here, but you can write it anywhere you want. You could wait for your paint to dry and you could use a different color and write right on top of your paint. You could write it following the branch line. You can write it down the side like me, however you want. But here is how it goes. We're gonna start with an H, like that, and an O, like that. And next we have an S, like that. Then we have an A. I'm doing all my letters capital. And then we have an N, another N, and an A. Wow, this filled my space perfectly. Hosanna! There you have it, you guys. Now you will be able to decorate your house with your palm branches. Maybe you could even kind of cut along the outside and you can wave them around when it gets to Palm Sunday. You'll already be ready with your palm branches. Well, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. Let's close out our day. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. I hope you had another awesome week learning about the journey to the cross. And today specifically talking about what is technically Palm Sunday, but we were talking about the triumphal entry of Jesus. So as you go about your week this week, I hope you are reminded of this story. And if you find yourself waiting in line at the grocery store, waiting for dinner because you're hungry, waiting for your turn with a certain toy or whatever it is you find yourself waiting for. I hope you were reminded of the story about how these people were waiting for the Savior. God had told it through the prophets long ago and here he was, he had finally come. So I hope this week you're reminded of that anytime you have to wait. So with that, those of you from Lakeside Kids and those of you who are joining us who are not from Lakeside Kids, I hope you remember that you are loved and you are being prayed for and that I just think you guys are all so wonderful and special. And I just thank you so much for joining me each and every week as we learn about Jesus and what God has to tell to us. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you guys next Sunday. Oh, and I almost forgot. Next week, we are going to be talking about our next story on the journey to the cross. But next week, it will also be St. Patrick's Day. Not on Sunday, but it'll be later in the week. So I'm going to celebrate it early by wearing all green for next Michaela's Corner. So if you want to join me, wear all green next Sunday and we can celebrate St. Patrick's Day together. All right, with that, now I will say goodbye. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye! <laughs>